Perfect. Still not gonna out angle me a little bit. What is going on guys? Will here. Welcome to the video. We have a great video ahead. We are training with Ronaldo and IFBB Pro. So he was on the channel actually before we did a back workout together, but now we're going to do some shoulders. You guys seem to love him on the channel. So we brought him back. He's a very smart guy. So hopefully we learn a couple things about the shoulders. And then afterwards, what we are going to do is actually go to an all you can eat sushi place. And we are going to see who can have the most pieces of sushi in 20 minutes. So he thinks that he can take me. I think there's absolutely no chance. I think I'm going to be able to eat like 50 to 60 pieces in 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes to eat is a long time for me, as you guys know, but we'll see. So just getting some pre-workout here together. So I know he's a big fan of giant sets. So I think I need a little bit more pre-workout today. So the pre-workout that I'm using is from Blue Star Nutrition, PPK, uh, pineapple mango, 10 10 link in the description for 10% off. Gymshark power shirt with me. Like this thing makes you look like five feet wider than you actually are. Especially with training with him today. We're throwing this bad boy on. Yeah, see, look at this. Instantaneously, I just like went another two feet each way. So a lot of you guys are actually roasting me about wearing Nike socks with Adidas shoes. So I made sure today to match. So hopefully you guys are proud of me here. I swear Adidas have the comfiest shoes in the market, man. Adidas sponsor, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for it. So hopefully I have some energy today because I have not eaten yet. It's almost two o'clock. So usually I have breakfast around 9.30, just saving some calories for the sushi. So hopefully I can push some respectable weight. All right, so quick little update before we go to the gym. Nothing has really happened at the new place other than I brought my coffee machine and my uh, coffee pods to the place. So I've ordered a bunch of stuff, but everything doesn't come in for like at least two to three weeks, which is pretty annoying. So I actually have nothing here. So it's pretty much, not even livable. So what I did is I actually ordered a uh, blow up mattress for the floor. So just gonna have a plain mattress on the floor, probably grab a couple chairs, we can do some cooking segments in here, but that's that if you guys were wondering what's going on with the, the new place. So you guys think that I'm big? Did I stand beside this guy? Look at me. I'm like, I'm like the size of his leg. <laughs> so what are, we, what are we doing today? Uh, today we are going to do some shoulders. Okay. Um, so this is kind of like what I typically do. Not my hardest, but not my easiest. So we're gonna be starting with some presses. I know you're a big fan of giant sets too, right? We're going to be getting to that too. So Perfect. we start with just the first exercise, just kind of see how our strength is and try to boost it as much as we can. And then from there, we start to really light the fire and turn things up. All right, let's do it. First exercise we're doing is the behind the neck shoulder press. That's a little bit risky, right? People are gonna be like roasting you in the comments for that. Do it. Yeah? Do it, So why do you Fine. So Go why do you it. prefer behind the neck? You know what? I would have been this one of those same people like, oh, that's so bad. And then I'll tell you, the person who I witnessed doing it was my wife. She used to be one of those Olympic style lifters, okay? And she would lift a shitload, more than most of you. Yeah. And she would do behind the neck. I'm like, what are you doing? That's dangerous. And she just kind of looked at me like, what are you talking about, right? Yeah. And she was doing it. She was doing it fine. So I watch, I observe. And the thing that started happening to me is when I was doing front presses, um, my shoulders started to hurt. And I was like, okay, let me try the behind the neck thing. Started doing it. Shoulders felt good. Kept doing it. Okay. I got stronger. And this one's always about like form then, right? I would not tell a beginner to do this, right? You really got to know your body, know your positioning, know how to contract muscles individually, right? Like if you just go and push everything as hard as you can and tense your neck and all that, you're going to be in trouble, right? So this is more, in my case, I would say for someone who is well experienced. We're going to pyramid our sets, right? 
So it could be, I'm going to be going up by 25 until I start getting close to um, my, my peak where I find it's getting a little harder. And then it's just going to be small increments until, until six reps call, causes failure, basically. Okay, so we're basically like 15, 12, 10, 10, eight, Yeah, eight, so I could say anything about doing behind the neck is you don't want to crunch forward, right? Okay. You still want your back arch, you still want your chest up, but you gotta have that flexibility through the shoulders. Okay. A lot of people don't even have the flexibility to keep their hands straight up, they're, they're over here. And, they're priming and they end up being in this position when they put their arms. So you gotta be able to keep your hands up and bring your elbows down. Okay. If you can't do that, you're not ready. So for range of motion, you yeah. only kind of went halfway down, you're so slow. Yeah, you're not, you're, like say, it's a, the biggest difference, if you're doing it in front, you can go all the way down your chest. Here, I wouldn't go lower than half, like half along your, half, the halfway point of your head, basically. So it's going 45 to 25. At least I'll make you look bad at sushi, man. Yeah. I can like overhead press way more than that. That was way harder. So last set we're doing here, six reps, and then we're gonna drop the weight, just go to failure here, right? Man, drop set, behind the neck press, no joke, dude, holy shit. So now we're gonna do a uh, press supersided with lateral raise machine. So we're gonna do these presses a little different. Okay, we're gonna have a very, extended range of motion. The machine is designed for you to face forward. Nah. For me when I do that, it never quite connects to my shoulders. It always feels kind of odd. It feels like I'm using more traps and my shoulders are barely getting any stimulation. So I turn the other way and keep my arms a little more open and I get a lot more going on in my shoulders. Okay, so basically what's happening right now is we've been doing the dumbbell press with the lateral raise machine, but it's been feeling really good, so we thought we wanted to add more than just three sets. So what we're doing is combining this superset with the next one, which is gonna be the front barbell raise with bent over dumbbell reverse pec, like reverse fly. Yeah. So I've always been told that the front raise is like a waste of time. Because yeah. Because you feel like you, your bench gets Because you get, right? because typically we use a lot of front dumb, Yeah, right? so we do. Now we're, this, it's only 30 pounds, we're not doing this to boost the strength of the front delts or anything. Yeah. We're just doing it to really bodybuilder. We're, we're just furthering the pump, okay. right? We're just chasing the pump line. All right. right. So like, yeah, none of this has to do with your strength or improving your bench or anything like that. It's okay. just the first two exercises really sparking things up. Okay. And now we're, you're gonna see, you're gonna feel a much deeper pump as you keep moving. All right, basically it's just a big massive giant set. Four exercises, back to back, just keep on going. Holy. Oh. Wow. Yeah, but 
Orange Theory doesn't do that. I'm already like drinking my water like this. All right, so the next thing we are doing is pretty much like some sort of a cable orgy here. So we're doing cable reverse pec deck, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this one, add the rope attachment, then we're gonna do 12 rope front raises, then I'm gonna bring this one back down. We're gonna come here, 12 laterals, and then finish off with five to 10 partials. shampoo night but I don't know about that so he was just saying that he grew significantly in the past two years when he started adding in giant sets because it's, it gives you more conditioning increases blood flow to the muscle but also adds significant time under tension for a long period of time it increases that intensity so he said by adding the giant sets in he saw significant growth really really fast so I think for shoulders specifically it'd be a great thing to do. As soon as they start going up, you can go too far. You're only going as wide as you can before they start going up. That's it. Okay, so that was three sets of uh, hell, man. That was best described as hell. So we have one more thing left. And that's a giant set or just a... No, it's not even a giant set. Just one focused... Yeah, see? Yeah. Look at his shoulder, you can see it. You see it, the pump's just growing on him. Oh yeah. Right? You see the color? Everything's red? <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what it does. What we are about to do, you can do this on any bench as long as you put it up on an incline. It's just your feet position here, I get to stay on my feet versus having to kneel on a bench. Anyways, what we're doing is we're going to do a single arm side raise. And the reason we're doing this is because in this position, in this range, is where you where gravity has the strongest pull. Versus being standing, there's not much going on here. Gravity's not really taking effect till you get about there. That's where most of the work is done. I remember you said based on the placement, it can do rear delt work. Lateral. Right. Yeah. So generally, if you're going to just want to work your lateral and keep a lot of tension, you bring the bar just down your sorry the dumbbell just down to your hips and back up. Very short range of motion but I want to get more into my rear delt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my arm travel past and what I'm going to have is a bit of a stretch along the side into the rear delt and then I'm going to feel that stretch where it is and contract out of that so I can get my rear delts activated. Like right now, this is, this is flexed. And then as I move up, it's going to get into the side. So it really takes everything from here Okay, back so it's kind of metal like, and blows it out. So it's kind of like two movements. You're right here, to here, and then on. Yeah, but I'm going to move one motion. I'm not okay. going to. I'm not going to split my motion. Okay. I'm just going to apply tension throughout the range. Okay. okay. With control, so you don't want to just rip the weight off. You want to be smooth. With it. Take a look at the floor here. Look at this like crime scene. Yep. That's when you know that was an intense work. And I'll tell you what, I just lateralized my way to an intense appetite. So are you you ready for some sushi? Ready to go. Okay. Let's, Let's do, it. do this. Something like that, I think. Do eight rolls each. Same. We're gonna do the same platter, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes, I know. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna do eight, eight rolls each. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I haven't eaten. Like, yeah, yeah. I haven't eaten all day, so it's, yeah. yeah, justified kind of. Luckily, we have some green tea though. 
This, this thing burns fat. It's like a fat burning machine. It's gonna offset all the sushi we eat. Yeah, two Californias, two dynamite. Two eel. Two eel. Two tuna. That's That's it? That's it. That's, that's it. Yeah. You wanna keep on going? One more? You want one more? Let's, one. let's just round up to ten. Spicy scallop? Yeah, why not? And, and spicy scallop too. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Is that does that sound like enough? So <laughs> No, so this this for the one person. So each, yeah, for one person. One person. With two, right? Two orders. Yeah. Oh, two orders. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, yeah. that should be enough. Yeah. Perfect. And um, just pre-order a sake bomb for this man here, as well. <laughs> sake bomb? Yeah, you guys do that. <laughs> no, 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 sake bomb. You <laughs> don't have it. How about you shotgun a Sapporo then? Sapporo? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Yeah. So I have a Sapporo on deck. No, yeah. I can't shotgun though. I just can't, but I'll whatever, I'll do it. Okay, the first one. Okay, thank you. I'll take that one. There you go. Oh, that's, that's heavy. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. Yeah. Can, yes, you get, can you just get a green tea on tap? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some more tea, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll get a big one for you. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. It's like, the, it's like the, the Japanese lube. Sticky rice gets stuck in your throat. You just need constant fluid. Are you a soy sauce man? Yeah. yeah. Are you taking some or not? Yeah. It's the saltiness I'm familiar with. There you go. Thank you. I wonder, I wonder if we had this before we went to the gym. The pump that we would get. Oh, that'd be amazing. Sauce. Yeah. This is a keto nightmare. The current time is just about five o'clock, so I'm gonna put the timer on my phone right now and leave it standing right there. And do you have a strategy going into this? I'm just gonna or? use my hands. Just use your hands? I'm gonna use my hands too. All right, it's going. It's going. You see there, cowboy? You're already like three in? Wow, popping like Molly's, man. <laughs> right at a music festival. Everyone was roasting me that I put ginger on the sushi because it's supposed to be eaten between the sushi, uh -huh. but I, I like it on top of it. It's good. The scallop's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's some good sushi. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, this is the eel. This is all you, man. If I don't like this it, one? it's your fault. So this is barbecue eel. So we've got some avocado in there. Love me avocado, still nature's gotta, mayo. Still gotta eat it. Nature's mayo. Okay, I yeah, can, I can get behind that. Yeah. Now the scallop. What's your favorite one on the deck here? Go for a scallop. Oh yeah. Good choice, Ronaldo. Damn. Nine, eleven. I'm smoking, dude. Look, look at my look at my tray. Look at this guy's tray. He's, he's even slowing down because he's. I'm like, not slowing down. I'm just trying to like. I don't want to just finish by, by the 10 minute mark. It's pretty he was saying he's starting to get the sweats. Yeah. You don't get sweat huh? on the part. I, guess, I think I do. This is just like volume of food. You're shooting excuses now. I need some more ginger ASAP. I'm starting to get um, flavor fatigue. I need to super sit in some green tea ice cream. Yeah. Shit. It's just such a. I don't even know how to explain this. I just need some like different something in my mouth. Two pieces in one. Show up. This section right here needs to go away. Avocado starting to taste like ass right now. Oh, now I know what that tastes like. It's oh. okay, so do I. Sushi travels slow. That's for sure. Exits fast. Does it? I haven't done a sushi mukbang. Because when I eat it. <laughs> Two hours from now? Mm, yeah. Damn, I'm excited for that. You mind if you just bring me like a mound of ginger or something? Go ahead! Yeah, thank you. Ginger. I've never had this much seafood in one though. I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel kind of disgusting. Mm. Seasick. Don't say that. <laughs> oh my god, man. Shit. <laughs> There's nobody on the planet, besides maybe Earth Day Electric, that can help that me. Yeah? I don't think. Out there. All right, well I have Two, four. I have eight pieces left. Like I'm, I'm clearly in the head right here. These ones I'm not a big fan of right now. To be honest, I'm, I'm not a lover of eel. Uh, I guess we can't trade, right? Yeah, we shouldn't. Trade. No. 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 Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There's like an aquarium in my stomach with the seafood, man. Speaking of that, I wanted to get, a I wanted to get a fish for my new condo. I'm gonna call him Boston. You know what kind of fish you're looking for? Yeah, just like, uh, I was thinking between a Jap uh, Japanese fighting fish 
What does that look like? I don't know, it's like the little pre sick. Yeah. It, or like a like, like or big, small. Or goldfish. 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 Yeah. My mom thinks she's it's gonna die. I was like, no, I'm gonna take care of it. Goldfish always die. This eel man, I don't know. Like this is like scaring the shit out of me right now, this piece. Like the tip is coming right out. Like I always want to tie, you gotta close your eyes and just open your mouth. Am I in right now or am I on the table? You're in. I'm in? Okay. No, no, Usually I, I don't, don't get that response. Usually like, is it? I'm like, I don't know. I'm where you were like... You're all show no go, Six man. minutes ago. 20 inch biceps, appetite of a 12 year old. This guy's terrible. I'm already, I'm already starting the... Uh, I don't have the energy for that right now. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah. Can you bring me a Sapporo, please? Sapporo bowl or can? Uh, a can. Can. Yeah, okay. thank you. <laughs> we need a rematch, man. Time and place, dude. Ro it seems like roti is like your home, your home court. Roti is my home court. I'll do roti, I'll, I'll beat you in that, and then we'll do pizza, I'll beat you in that. I will not challenge you in pizza. I'm tapping out. There, because if I actually have these, I will projectile vomit onto the camera, which will probably not be a good thing. So unless he actually gets to this point in just over two and a half minutes. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna, whatever, I'm not doing up though. Oh. Yeah, just the can. Okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Just under a minute and a half left. Just make a giant set. You went from the sushi to the squirrel. No rest. What's the most of eating? Have you done those ten thousand cal like those ten thousand calorie days? Yeah. Yeah, on the weekends. I've never done yeah. that. Call that a Saturday. Are you tapping out? Let me see. Well, I'm not gonna do it in thirty seconds. I can usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, time. Oh, yeah. Twenty oh two. So uh, four left. So I had fifty six pieces of sushi in the, in like. Way 20 under minutes. 20 minutes. And like, under no, 20 I had mine like 16 minutes. Yeah. What do you have left? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 pieces. Well, I gotta finish this whole damn thing. Oh, don't take your mouth off it. There you go. Channel your high school days, dude. Let's go. I was a good kid in high school. Wait, just protein yeah. shakes? Water. Me too. I had no data problem either. Hmm? I had no data problem either. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's not, it's not for lack of trying. Yeah. Just a straight up said no. What a good sport. So now you gotta do um, 100 oh. jumping jacks. What about dessert? Burping up an ocean right now, so. Uh, sick workout, sick post-workout meal. If you guys want Ronaldo in the channel some more, let us know down below. If you want another eating contest, let us know what you want it to be. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.